Hello, my name is Elizabeth Chavez and I am the EMT program coordinator here at Health Professions. Let me show you the EMT classroom. So this is our ambulance simulator. Some of the skills that the students are able to provide or perform in this simulator is your lifting and moving. They're able to simulate how it is to remove and, and take out the stretcher. They're currently doing a patient assessment, an EKG. If you follow me this way, um, we have some EMT students that are performing some bandaging and splinting skills. Again, this is one of the many skills that they'll learn as far as their trauma management and their trauma skills uh, in the EMT program. This is our simulation lab. Here we have EMT students practicing their trauma skills. This gentleman was involved in a motorcycle accident and they are currently putting on a tourniquet to help stop the bleed as well as bandage and, and secure the injury. Here we have some EMT students practicing their airway skills. We have an eight-year-old uh, suffering from an asthma attack. Here we have our EMT students working on the obstetric simulator. They're going to be assisting with the delivery of an infant. Here you see the student drying off the baby and suctioning. After delivery, the EMT students can work on the neonatal simulator where they can get APGAR scores and also follow-up care. So our EMT program graduates about 24 students a year. Um, they leave with their nationally registered EMT certification as well as their EKG tech certification. These certifications help prepare the students for real life experiences.